Hey Facebook friends, it's Christy here. I was just thinking uh, last night and I just had to share this. Um, so have you ever felt like a fraud? Have you ever felt like everyone's like, okay, she doesn't really know what she's talking about? Um, I feel like that every time I'm about to share something. I'm doing a big training tonight and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, why did they ask me to do this training? I'm, I'm no expert. I feel this way every time I push go live on this video camera. Um, and I don't even have what's called imposter syndrome, but that's actually how bad my imposter syndrome is. Um, this problem of convincing yourself that you're not good enough is becoming more and more and more prevalent, especially um, the more we have this online presence. We all feel like, you know, we have to be perfect. We have to, um, you know, everything has to be just right, your hair, your makeup, your skin, your body, whatever, your house, your car, your kids, everything. Everything has to be perfect all the time. Heck, we take pictures of our salads that look really good and be like, hey, look at my salad, it's amazing. Anyway, um, the other thing is though, you have to also, you need to be yourself and you need to feel free to fail. And you know, I talk to a lot of my teammates about making videos. Obviously you guys know that I'm gonna be doing these videos sorry, got a text, um, doing these videos and this feeling of like, okay, what am I doing? Like, what am I saying? Like, how am I going to do this? You know, it's funny. I'm, I decided to write down my couple points on how to get yourself out of the I'm an imposter syndrome. So the first thing I want to say is, you know what? Focus on providing value. So, you know, a lot of people get into like an entrepreneurial business or they do these videos or they, you know, go for a promotion and they think, you know, um, what are people going to think of me? Like, what if I fail? What if people say, oh my gosh, we knew she couldn't do it or whatever it is. Or you start to say, I don't know as much as this person. I'm not an expert. I'm not this. But you know what? The fastest way to get over feeling that way is to genuinely care and try to provide help and value to someone who may need it. And so to me, that's what helps me get through that like, okay, you know what, it's okay. I'm trying to help somebody. Um, the second thing I say is when your brain is convincing you that you're not good enough, keep a file of the nice things that people say to you write it down. I started doing this earlier this year. So like every time I would get a text message or a comment or a Facebook message that was something positive, I would take a screenshot of it and I put it in a file folder. And on days that I'm feeling particularly low and thinking, you know, who do I think I am? I'm going to read that and I'm going to remember that I was helping somebody. I was helping somebody in their business. I was helping somebody with my products or I was helping somebody feel good about themselves because to me, that's what this is all about. Um, so you collect those wins, collect those testimonials, and then visit them when you're feeling like a fraud. The third thing I would say is expose yourself totally. And by that I mean sit down sometime, take 30 minutes, and write down everything about yourself that you can think of that you don't like, that you feel like, you know, oh, they, they tell me I'm a leader and I'm not a leader, or whatever it is. Don't ever show this to anyone. Putting it down on paper doesn't make it go away, but it makes it into a better perspective. So for 30 minutes, just do it. Just like throw it all, your deepest, darkest, whatever, I'm a freak because. And in the end, it's like this release and you're like, you know what, I'm not, I'm a good person. Um, the fourth thing, and this is the one I'm actually doing with these 30 days of videos, you know what, treat it like it's an experiment. You know, um, these days, there's like this whole bunch of new entrepreneurs, direct sales, multi-level marketing people out there. You're gonna be seeing like a lot of more people doing videos and posting and sharing themselves out there. And there's never been a, like a time in history more so than more people have a voice, thanks to social media. Thank you, social media. Um, and there was a time like I would do these videos and if no one liked or commented or shared it, I like went into total like, oh, what am I doing? Like, why am I doing this? And you know what I've realized? Today I'm talking about imposter syndrome, and if no one likes or comments or shares this video, I'm just gonna say, you know what, my audience doesn't care. They don't feel the same way. Um, not gonna talk about that anymore. But I'm not gonna go down in shutdown mode and say I'm not worth it or I'm not good enough because this is like an experiment to me. And so today is imposter syndrome, and I hope people find value. If not, 
I'll move on and I'll do something else the next time. Um, the fifth thing would be, you know what? Say what you can. Share the knowledge that you have with people. It doesn't matter if you're like in a, um, a church group or you're in a mommy's play group or whatever it is. If you have something of value to share, you don't have to be an expert. You can say, hey, you know what? This is what worked for me. And you're, again, going back to that genuinely, genuinely trying to help somebody. It makes a huge difference. Um, and the sixth thing, and this is the last one, and this is my favorite, is this is like, you know what, fake it till you make it. And by that, I mean, you know what, you can actually trick your brain into thinking more of yourself. So for instance, you're having a really down day, they say smile. Why? Smile, laugh. Because it tricks your brain into thinking you're not as sad as you think you are. Um, a, a great example is like a baby. How many times does a baby decide they're going to try and walk? And they get up and they fall down and they get up and they fall down and they hit their head and they do it again and they cry but they don't give up they keep going they trick that's like they trick their own brain into going you know what this is something I need to do and I'm gonna do it and there's nobody in the world that ever says to that baby um, who do you think you are you you can't even walk like hello you can't do it you're a total fraud that's the kind of stuff we tell ourselves when we go to do something and we don't do it right away or it doesn't come right away, we convince ourselves we're not good enough. Think of the baby. Keep going, keep walking, keep trying, find the answers and get there. So, okay, so um, I hope you guys found some value in this. I hope you found it helpful. Um, you know, in the comments, if you have something that you've, what's the, what's the one thing you've avoided because you felt like you were a fraud if you tried to do it? Was it like writing a blog? Was it making a live video? Was it starting your own business? Cause you're not an entrepreneur, you can't do that. Um, you didn't want to speak in front of a room or raise your hand and ask a question you had because you're gonna, people are gonna think badly of you. Um, all right, so have you ever like had a girl you thought was really pretty and you wanted to ask her out and you just didn't? Because you were like, okay, well, she's going to figure out eventually that, like, I'm not good enough. So it stopped you. So what's something that you've avoided because the space in your brain told you that you're being an imposter? And then use these tips and tricks to try and convince yourself, you know what? You are good enough. I don't remember who said it, but, like, you know what? You're good enough. You're smart enough. And gosh darn it, people like you. So keep going. Keep smiling. Keep trying. I hope you guys found value. Please feel free to like, comment, or share, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one.